this is the first in a series I'm gonna be doing, which is like a how to wear and any certain item. Basically, you guys request something, or I'll just throw in something that I've found that I've had trouble finding out how to wear, so I'm gonna give you ideas on how i found to pair these looks to make it look less weird, or something like that. For the first thing is gonna be high-waisted shorts. I think that they make you look like you're wearing mom jeans in short version, or they just look unflattering and weird, so I'm gonna talk about certain ways you can wear them so it's not too much trying to be cool. Okay, so first off, I'm just wearing my hair down and I'm wearing this necklace that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. How cute is it, you guys? It's so cute. A white eyelet shirt that's tight on the bust, that's lacy, and I just tucked it into a pair of high-waisted shorts. This top is from Nordstrom's, and here are the shorts. These shorts are from Forever 21, and they hit me, let's just say, here's my belly button, right here. They hit me like an inch below my belly button, and I paired it with a black belt. To complement the brass in the belt and the gold in the necklace, I come with these vintage bangles. I think these shorts are super cute, and pairing them with a belt makes it draw less attention to the awkwardness of how high they are, um, so it doesn't make it look weird. And in the back, it makes it look less weird because there is a definition between this and your booty. This is definitely the first option. It's super easy and casual and laid back, and it's an easy way to wear high waisted shorts without definitely looking like you're trying way too hard. Okay, so here is the second outfit idea. It's basically the same thing, but a little more of a girly twist onto it, I think. Wearing a hot pink, like hot, 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 smoking hot, pink ruffled shirt. It's ruffled all around the neckline. It's from H&M, and I've paired that with a long, dangly necklace. You guys might have seen this in my haul video. Because with this one, I did not wear a belt. I need something that distracts from how this cuts me in half. So by pairing a long necklace with it, it makes the, it ties the whole outfit together. So some tips on wearing high-waisted shorts. If you guys have a really, 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 really short torso, I'm gonna automatically deem that high-waisted shorts are probably not for you. They cut your torso almost in half. So if you guys have long legs or are looking to look like you have long legs, high-waisted shorts are totally your thing. I think high-waisted shorts work best if either A, you have a really long torso, or B, you're pretty proportioned with your legs to torso ratio. Otherwise, I think it's just going to cut you in half and make your proportion, you'll just look completely out of proportion and strange. So, places to buy high-waisted shorts. Because these are obviously a trend and they're not going to be in style forever, though I'll probably wear them for a while because I think they're super cute. If it's definitely a passing trend for you or you're just trying them out and you're not sure how much you're going to wear them, I would definitely look for good deals at Forever 21 or H&M. I think those, I got these ones for about $20 at Forever 21. And tip number two, do not settle for ones that you don't think are flattering. There are tons of different kinds of high-waisted shorts. Ones that hit up all the way past your belly button. Some that hit up to the top or bottom of your rib cage, And some that just graze a little bit above where low-rise ones would. You definitely need to wait it out and find the perfect style and cut and fit for you. Because it's going to look different and better and worse on all different body types. And these are a really versatile item and definitely a must-have for summer. So that's how I'd wear them. Tell me how you'd wear them down below. And tell me what else you want to learn how to wear. Or get tips and tricks and advice from some random 16-year-old girl who has a webcam. That's me. Peace, love, and otter pops, guys. Peace, love, and otter pops.